Okay, you ready to count down? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Five, four, three, two, one, froggy style! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So this game, unlike any other game, one of the most badass games ever made. We have not only frogs, but karate masters, Jimmy and uh, Vimmy Lee. <laughs> All against the Dark Bits and her evil army of space ah! and machine gun wielding uh, people who are 20 feet tall. Yeah, bottom line, the, the way this game works for the most part is once you have an enemy on the ground, you can perform a special move that generally finish them, finishes them off. So you're going to be seeing Colin here doing a move where he kind of approaches an enemy on the ground and sort of jumps up and slams it. And that's the main tech you'll be using for regular enemies. I thought these little hand things, uh, spinning gumballs everywhere. So I like always wished I was in the game. Then this guy shows up to kick your ass and it's like, alright, maybe I don't want to be in this game. Completely cheesed. So yeah, with the bosses, this is actually, I think, why you use the uh, Lee Twins instead of the Toads, because their little jump and kick move is great for stun locking bosses. You can get another jump in and kick before they uh, recover from the first one. I guess just because you sort of rise and fall from the ground faster than they do when you hit them. So as they're like being knocked into the air, and just like land again and jump really fast. These guys have a lot of health normally, but you can see here now he's using that technique I mentioned where you knock them down and then you do sort of a finishing blow on them. So the bad guys in this game are actually an interesting mix of the ones from the uh, Double Dragon games and the Battletoad games. Right now I believe we're fighting the uh, cronies of the Shadow Boss, who's the main bad guy from Double Dragon. And the stick people, I don't even know. I don't know what we're seeing. Yeah, kicking ass so far. Game starts to get a little hard on uh, level 3, and level 4 is, like, ridiculous, because it's suddenly a completely different game, but we'll get to that. So if you've played Battletoad games, you'll probably remember the Turbo Tunnels. It's like an auto scroller, really hard. This game also has that same kind of concept coming up here, but uh, for whatever reason, they decided to not make it hard. So here you are riding your uh, bag of potato chips. Dodge something every couple minutes. RPGs type of vehicle. <laughs> Got an extra life there because he hit all the uh, little gray beehives.
jumping over the fence. Yeah, like this is the stuff he's dodging right here. If this were the original Battle Toads, they'd be coming at you at least like three times as fast. And then this part here, I don't know if uh, it m matters really like what pace you kill the dudes. I think it might just be on a timer and they stop coming after a certain amount of time of them spawning. Colin should be able to clarify. Oh, sick. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it went straight to the, the beer kegs again. Alright, so you're gonna see this next boss get destroyed again with the stun lock. Look how much faster Jimmy jumps and lands again compared to the rat when it's getting knocked around. Shadow bosses hose. We all got whips. And there's a lot of them. And they got nice bodies. They do have nice bodies. But uh, a, little, a little bit of a uh, butterface, if you ask me. It looks like oh, she only on has me. like one eyebrow. <laughs> That was slick. Jump from one turret to the next. That landing. This is another mechanic you'll recognize from Battletoad games. Chilling on the wall, and you can do a special move where you leap off the wall with an attack. In the Lee's case, it's a tornado. It's like Taz. Oh. Gosh. <laughs> we have the mighty world record holder Zelma, you know, gonna show us what that's about. <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be whoever gets lucky, dude. Oh shit, getting whipped all over the place. How does the Shadow Boss have so many hoes who look exactly the same? Oh, oh, nice uh, intentional depth there to oh, respawn the after the fence. And again, okay, it looks like, yeah, it looks like you did a little kick in the air just to get a little bit more distance, which probably set your spawn position far enough, right? Oh yeah. Cool. Thank you for pointing that out. That's important that speedrunners know that. Too, so. <laughs> uh, where is the frogs? They is not going to be used in this run because. Well, I mean, just like I said at the beginning of the run, they're doing froggy style uh, somewhere. <laughs> and you also have to climb this one, I think. Got some Metroid obstacles. <laughs> hey, you remember those Overfiend, right? You play that game, man. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. play Metroid Overfiend? Uh, yeah, I played. 
Metroid 1 at Wes's house a couple weeks ago. Fucking birds, dude. So when you think you're done with birds, you play another video game and just fuck, man. There's more <laughs> birds. Oh! That's static electricity! <laughs> Getting electrified! Are you trying to clip through that or something? Oh shit, what even happened? Oh! Okay, okay! Boom! That's like the hardest part of the level and you just went through it, damn it. Just, just ran right through it. Speed run. Come on, you fuck ass bird! <laughs> cool. Colin's not audible on stream, damn. I think he doesn't have his mic on. Uh, you, you told all of chat to go fuck themselves, so... <laughs> so yeah, it's a really uh, important moment in the game. The uh, dodge trash falling from the ceiling section. You gotta be real careful here, hang out on the top right of the screen. Otherwise you're gonna get uh, trash all over your face, nobody wants that. Oh shit, taking all kinds of death wars, dude. No, oh, the optimization! Tall, machine gun wheel in there. He's cocking it! He's a little harder to unlock because his hitbox is weird. You have to have him in a somewhat precise position. There you go. And he just starts fucking, you know, got like. SMG whacking you. Alright, so yeah, that's it for Battletoads Double Dragon. We're now gonna. Uh, enter action 52 and play some space shooters. <laughs> oh, this looks, uh, <laughs> like asteroids. Yeah, it's a completely different game, suddenly. But it's a cool level once you get the hang of it. The controls are awkward at first, but it's uh, kind of satisfying to blow things up. So, there's sort of four phases. Start out with the asteroid phase, and now it's gonna throw bombs at you. And these bombs, if you were to allow them to explode, have uh, different explosion patterns where you'd have to dodge uh, just, like shrapnel type things coming off of them. And then we're gonna have the flying saucer phase, which are like little mini enemies you have to fight. <laughs> Finally, you take down the big mothership. And that part is probably the best part. Whoa! We're... <laughs> Blow it up! Oh shit! Okay, okay. Yeah, Mothership was so kind as to give you some extra lives. Alright, entering the flying saucer phase, gotta try and use these homing missiles, which only will lock on if you can keep the target over the dude for like a second yeah. and pick it first and yeah once they get away from you it becomes really hard to lock onto them mm -hmm. I could I could never lock onto the blue one Part's awesome. Now you take down the mothership, and I really, really like this uh, kid, especially like you break it down like one piece at a time. It's like sort of like Star Fox in a way. He's got asteroid cannon.
<laughs> nice, nice. And then the ship reveals itself to really be a missile all along. And so what do you do? You jump on that missile and you deck some, uh, some black ninjas. The missile's after the uh, RPG. The missile's after the satellite with the rolling deep tapes. What? I did exterminate the rolling deep tape? Oh, that's Yeah, the rats are from Battletoads. These guys are from Shadow. Wait, Double Dragon? Yeah, that's a game. Ah, he just that bull, you have to fight differently than the previous That's a one. bull? Yeah, dude. You got a fucking bull. For him, it's, well, how many how many other bulls stand up on two feet? I mean, well, actually, no. there's three of them because you're gonna need to fight three. That was nice as a, a death. Wow, it's torched up. Yeah, but uh, it sort of torched him through the wall. So it's the time of having to climb that second ladder. He throws dynamite on a fight you. Yeah, so yeah, you're not a bull. With these, you can't do actually... Well, it probably looks like the same move to someone who hasn't played this before, but instead of doing a jump kick, what he's doing is a dash kick. And that's the only way to really stun lock that guy. Alright, did he get it? Oh, alright, he tried to oh, kick come it. on! Holy shit, those fires have such weird hitboxes. He's just like standing around his face being <laughs> flamed on. Oh, no, we're good. Uh-oh. A little low on uh, lives here. AKA, only one life. I think we died. We go back to 5-2 though. Checkpoint he just got to not be too bad, but I don't think he's gonna die because he got past the uh, the flame part, which is things that kill you in one hit. Everything else uh, is pretty straightforward. Got one more bull, and uh, then the level's basically over. Oh shit! Okay, so yeah, he is doing the jump kick to unlock. So now he has to fight the. Uh, oh, not quite. A few more Houdinis to go. Say what? What? A few more Houdinis? Uh... Houdinis? Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, that's scary. That would have made him game over. Yeah, so this is Dr. Mantis Toboggan, and uh, you can actually hit him before he comes out of the cockpit. The cockpit? And <laughs> that allows you to. Stun lock him because he uh, can't fight back. This is what up? He didn't start. <laughs> there you go. I'm bad. Got a glod there. Damn. All right. I don't know how he's gonna do this level because uh, two lives. Uh, I guess the shadow boss coming up here is no joke. So yeah, we're. At the end of the game, basically now, it's two levels, but they're both very short and mostly revolve around the bosses of the levels, which are the bosses of the Double Dragon and Battletoad games. 
Oh, he got double bitch slaps. <laughs> Alright, you see that motherfucker right there? Shadow oh. boss. Looks like a or something. It can be stunlocked, but he can get out of it very easily. Oh, he's fisting him! Whoa! The main thing you gotta worry about is he has this, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that, like, little massage ball. Ah! Uh, Your armadillo all of a sudden! <laughs> that will one like pretty much kill you if it hits you because Oh uh, like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh the fisting! Ah the face fisting! <laughs> Take me to the dome. <laughs> oh no! Damn dude. Ah! Fucker not telling you you got fucked up. <laughs> Darkwing fuck. Bro, you died uh, miserably in the dragon. What's the fuck? So yeah, that's uh, a risk you took in uh, trying to fight that boss for only two lives. Very dangerous. You could have. Uh, that's more like at the start of the level to get his lives back, but it doesn't roll very deep, so no, I applaud his decision. Yeah, he went out with uh, with a. Uh... Oh, it's raining outside. Perfect. What kind of uh, weather conditions uh, you got going on? That's uh, partly oh. cloudy. <laughs> oh, not quite yet. <laughs> That's how he likes it, man. He's like, let me massage you with my massage ball. Oh, oh there we go. That's so sad. Oh, he must have been really close to killing him last time, too. Oh, shit. He just disintegrated, dude. You hit him so hard, like, everything with armor just, like, flowed. Good job. Alright, now you got this, uh, this big titted evil lady. It's, like, easily the most evil thing in any video game. What is her, what does she want? Like, why does she want to kill everybody? Because those nasty toes are hopping around her backyard. <laughs> Getting some more gumballs here. Oh, those eyes lit up! When she, those tits came out, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's her too. <laughs> So yeah, she's a unique boss fight because she keeps going underground. But you can hit her even while she's underground if you have a precisely uh, low jump kick. When's the when's the timer end? Yeah, I'm not seeing the timer. So. Yeah, timer ended like uh, 20 seconds ago. 23. I stopped it at the right time. Good job, Burger Fiend. Yes, you did, Burger Fiend. We gold of the last split by a massive amount. Oh, yeah. Oh. GG, dude. Alright. Well. We do have Candace coming up next, and he just commentated, so we don't have to track him down. Yeah, I'm gonna hit start stream right now. Okay.
Thanks again, Colin, for that fantastic run, man. Mm. Alright, I'm up. <laughs>